Hello everybody, this is me Doc. I want to show you uh, something I just discovered about the Apple Watch and I think I have a possible fix. So there is a tiny glitch. If you press the digital touch button here on the side and I go through and I can click any one of my friends and sorry, I did that backwards. I can click any one of my friends and normally it takes me to their screen, allows me to send them a text message. Uh, my podcast buddy here, Jerome, he has a contact that has a metric crap ton of information in it. As soon as I hit it, it crashes the watch. You see that? So it's basically doing a springboard restart. You'll see the Apple logo show up and then it will eventually, uh, in a couple of seconds, go right back to Mickey and you know everything is all gravy. So in playing around with this, I realized he's the only contact that I have that displays that issue. I can go to any one of these other people Sorry, touch the crown. And no problem, no crashing. Everybody just loads perfectly fine. But again, if I hit Jerome's contact, it crashes. So what I discovered is if you look at the person's information file on your contact, say on your computer or on your phone, Jerome just happens to be a nerd like myself. So he filled his contact file out really, really heavily. It has too much information. This is a bug that will probably go away with the first software update. But all you have to do is go into that person's contact and take some of the unnecessary things out. Like I have all kinds of notes and all kinds of things, which could be problematic if you're a salesperson and you use your contact management as a place to keep notes for your clients. Not maybe the best place to do so, but I know many people do. You're not going to be able to do that if you got an Apple Watch. Uh, this might be different um, for some other people, but so far it's a glitch that I just noted. And I'm going to fix it and I'll be right back and show you that it works after I repair this problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I've gone in and I fixed the contact point. I'm going to add the customer back. He's not even a customer, he's my friend. I don't know why I call him a customer. Wait, that's the wrong person? <laughs> it's hard to do this and film, so sorry for adding the wrong person, people. So I'm adding back Jerome. You can see the new contact is there. If I open the watch, click on the digital crown, you can see that he's there. And as soon as I press that button, it tells me that he sent me a sketch and I can tap the view. So now you can see that it is completely working and no longer crashing like it did the first time. And I was asking me if I want to call or send a message. Um, really cool here is I can go ahead and press message and everything is back to normal. So that's how you would solve the glitch. If you have a contact that's crashing, you probably have too much information. Check the contact on your phone or on your computer. T delete some of the unnecessary information and then it should straighten itself out automatically. You really don't even have to delete and re-add the contact, but I just did that to show you how to in case you didn't see that in the first place. This has been Doc. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can drop me a line at DLCROCK on Twitter or in the, in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer you back. Thank you for watching the video.